Hi all, this is Keto with the Ketos Ninja Life. And today we are going to be doing sort of a air fry test. So I'm gonna be using my Ninja Foodie air fry function and I've got uh, chicken wingettes that we're gonna fry, some with just the seasoning and some with the seasoning as well as baking powder. I know you've seen this on YouTube, but I'm going to check it out for myself and give you my honest review. So we are going to get started. Just put my hands in my hair. So I'm going to do a hand wash break, reset the camera so you can see what's going on down here. And I'll be right back. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Okay, just wash hands, <laughs> clean hands, but I forgot to reposition the camera. So I'm about to do that now. Okay, so I actually am towel drying, paper towel drying, 30 wings because we are eating this for dinner. <laughs> and I got two, uh, my 20 year old son and uh, my husband and me that love chicken wings. And I am going to put most of them in the side that's going to get both because we want the crunchy ones to eat. We just doing the other ones to test, but we're going to be eating this for dinner with a kale salad. <laughs> so, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just leaving six out. So this higher bowl, this is the shorter bowl, we are going to olive oil them up okay so adding olive oil to both help the seasoning stay on so I'm just gonna mix that around to coat all of the chicken same thing here mix that all around coat all of the chicken. More chicken in this one, need a little more olive oil. Okay. I have coated my chicken with the olive oil. This is our placebo or test batch that's just going to get the seasoning. Let me show you what I have put in the seasoning. I am a seasoning girl. So I used the um, Costco organic non-salt, plenty of garlic powder, a little bit of ground cloves. That's something I got from my great aunt little bit of sweet mesquite i had to put some poultry seasoning y'all you know i had to do that i got salt free chicken yes i do have a little teeny bit of curry in here i have ground turmeric not so much the flavor as because i put it in almost everything in moderation because i have inflammation inflammatory issues and this is really good for that yes I put some Old Bay in there too I love Old Bay on my wings the little teeny bit of oregano y'all are like when is she gonna stop a uh, little bit of Caribbean jerk because my husband doesn't really like spicy but my son and I do I also just sprinkled a little bit of this garlic herb wine into the bowl and this is my salt pepper wheel so just basic salt and pepper went in there as well so i just want to show you what's in my seasoning bowl yes it's a lot of seasoning and we are going to start seasoning our chicken 
Okay. I just want to coat it really well. This is kind of like a dry rub. But we really want it to just coat up everything. I want every bite to have some good seasoning in it. Okay. That looks nice and covered. So that's just the seasoning and this one is only getting seasoning. Let me set that a little aside. Now we're going to put the seasoning in the big batch. And if I don't use it all, you know I would use this on something else. Believe me. Okay. So now we are taking the bigger batch and coating everything. We've got our olive oil in here. And we are making sure our dry rub is getting all over this chicken. Let me put a little teeny bit more in here. Well, you know, why not? There are, you know, 20 plus wings in here. See, this one needs some help. We're going to put her on the top and get her to going. Making sure we are all covered. Some people might not like that this piece is, is a little messed up. Let me show it to you. It's still got a little piece of that other wing on there. But I like that part. That's definitely mama's piece. Okay. The only one that's getting baking soda for the extra crunch test is the big one. So we're going to coat this. Make sure everything is coated with the baking powder for extra crunch. That's the plan. I will continue to do this. I think I'm going to go ahead and start the, um, just the seasoning ones while I continue to do this. Put some more in here because we need to be covered and it's got to cook out. So you, we had a lot of seasoning on there, but now we're putting basically a breading or coating of flour like, but it's baking powder to give it that extra crunch. And I need to make sure it gets on there good. Everybody gets a good coating of the baking powder. Okay. I am still going to add a little more. But I'm going to push this up to the side and I'm going to get this started because we got to do, let me clean off my cooking area. So inside my Ninja Foodie, you see I have sprayed the non-stick spray. Okay, so this is what our few little seven just seasoning look like inside the bag. I'm going to have to cook the rest of it in batches because, yeah. So from there, we are going to put the top down. And we are going to, forgive my hand if it's shaking, turn it on. We're going to hit air crisp. And we are going to hit, oh, I'm going the wrong way, 15 minutes. Actually, I'm going to hit 12 because I want to turn it over at that point. Okay, so it has started. I'm going to go back to putting more baking powder on these. So at 4 minutes and 52 seconds into the 12, I looked at them and went ahead and turned them over. And now I'm about to add a little more time and keep it moving. Put the 
top back down. Give it the full 12 now. That is the full 12. Okay, I've checked on it. They look pretty good to me. Remember, these are the ones that are just seasoned. No extra breading. And I still had three minutes and 39 seconds, but I checked them anyway. I think I'm going to go ahead and take these out. Let them rest while I start cooking the others. Okay, these are the ones with the cornstarch and seasoning on them. The first batch, I'm gonna have to do at least two. I um, wanted you to see what they look like inside. And I'm about to, s to lower the top. Forgive me. Holding the camera with one hand. And I'm going to stop it. So I can start over. And yes, I use a fresh pair of tongs to take out the cooked. We don't want any cross contamination. Okay, turning it back on. We are selecting Air Crisp. It's 390, and you see it is going. I have taken out the one with seasoning on them. I'm at 11 minutes and 34 hour, for 32 seconds into, of the 15, into um, the ones that have the baking soda added. But I don't think it's fair to wait until they're all done because these might not have, might have lost some of their initial crunch. Plus I want to taste them anyway. <laughs> so. I'm actually going to move the mic up even closer to see if you can hear the crunch just like I can. I'm going to pick up this one. Taste test. I don't know if you can see the heat waves coming off of it. It's good. Gonna be a good dinner. I heard the crunch, not much, but it is crispy. Um, it's not like big chicken. Let me just try to pull a piece of skin. In. I don't know if you're picking that up on the mic. Okay. So, to be fair, these have just cooled down a little. I can hear a little crunch, but it's not a, it's not a Kentucky Fried Chicken crispy crunch, okay? But it is still good. Um, it is still crispy. The, the skin is not um, soggy or anything like that. So we'll see what happens with the ones with the baking soda and if they make more of a crunch sound when we taste test. Okay, so I actually was doing something and let the whole 15 minutes go by without turning. And this is what we have. Looks pretty crispy. Let me see if I need to turn it over. Or what it, we are looking like. Ooh, you hear that? Just turning over anyway to see if I need to hit it another five minutes just to make sure. Ah, uh, because I really think they're done. I think I will. I'm putting it in this little can. The other batch that I have to cook, I will turn it over at the halfway mark like I should have and see what happens. See, we got quite a few crumbs because there's more breading, really, on these. So here's what we're looking like. 
here's what the just seasoned looks like you know I ate that whole wing and here's what we're looking like with the bread with the baking powder I am going to cook the next batch and be back nine minutes in this is what we look like my grass is being cut and my dog is barking so forgive that I'm ready to turn it over now you see this one still has some white on it that needs to cook in I might spray it a bit just to make sure I'm gonna take my trusty canola oil and spray across the top just to make sure that we get rid of that white okay I'm gonna go ahead and do it just to make sure and there we go so we are four minutes 43 seconds and I am going to add my honey drizzle these are quite flavorful and they need a balance a sweetness that I want to cook in just a little but I don't want to take away from the crunch so I'm just drizzling a little honey on here which I've also done with the others okay honey drizzle alrighty okay it has stopped and let's see what we got can you hear that sizzle it looks pretty good let's get them out it's the one with the baking soda and these are the ones without I am going to reset my camera and be right back okay this is Kita back with the Kita Central Life and I have a tester that's going to help me with the crunch determination as well which is my child my son and I'm gonna give you a dry mat because I think that has a better chance of hitting crunch these give you a closer look at this one these just have the seasoning and the honey drizzle so he's going to test that for crunch I hear the crunch but okay okay hold that one because you know you're going to eat that give me the other give me the fork now I need to give you one that has the baking powder on it in addition to the seasoning and the honey drizzle which one let's try this one I don't know if it's too hot but too hot <laughs> I just took them out I'm burning my child that has more crunch that's what I thought now I need to do the test so it's just the one with the seasoning and the honey drizzle it's good. Not that crunchy, but good. Now let me get one. With the baking powder on it. It just looks like it got more stuff going on crunch wise. Mm. That was good. Definitely more crunch, but not really that much. It's more crunch, but it's good. Maybe the baking powder does something to it. I just put the baking powder on top of the seasoning rub. So, let's just take another bite to be sure. Both good. Yes, there's more crunch with the baking powder on there. I give the crunch factor to just the seasoning, air fried, a five. 
with the baking powder on it, air fried, 6.5. My son agrees. I was going to say like 7, but 6.5 is good too. Yeah. Okay, 6.5 to 7. Yeah, it's more crispy then. He said it's more crispy, which was the goal. So y'all, my dinner is done because my kale salad is already ready. Thank you for joining me again for our Corona Chronicles with the Keto Essential Life. I'm Keto. Like, subscribe, share. I appreciate you being there, coming back and visiting. You know, there's a little bit of something for everybody on my channel. And uh, I'm doing a lot more cooking than I would because of our situation with the virus. But this is something I'm doing because we are in that setting and I need to mix it up when it comes to cooking. So I appreciate your time. See you next time. Bye.